Welcome to the classes page. This is the intro video. I'll be going over the core principles into how we look at classes. How do we approach classes in our Webflow build? Client first is all about empowering a non-technical person to manage your Webflow website. We want our clients. We want new Webflow developers. We want marketers to be able to go into our Webflow project and understand what's happening. So we need to be clear, informative, and descriptive every single time we name a class. Every single time. Whether we are creating new global systems, whether we're creating our custom classes, we need to give the reader as much context into the purpose of that class. So I want to be able to read it. I want to say I have a good understanding of what this class is probably doing. We don't want to use abbreviations. We don't want to use shorthand. We don't want to use developer lingo. We want to be clear. This is such an important concept in client first. You'll learn more about this. You'll understand how we do this. And if you want to know everything about this, go ahead and read the mindset. The mindset covers all of this in deep detail. We have two types of classes in client first. We have our global classes and we have custom classes. Global classes are classes that help us stay organized, help us update things universally, or help us build faster. And custom classes are usually things that apply some type of visual style, something that is specific to your build. So global classes can be used in any build. Doesn't matter what type of site you're building. It could be a one-page landing page. It could be a 100-page mega corporation site. Global classes should be used for any type of build. They're global, they count for anything, and they really don't have too much to do with visuals, specific visuals. Custom classes are all about specific visuals. We're going to name our custom classes with what they are, what section they're for, what element it is. And when you read a custom class, you should know, okay, I know what that custom class is. It's this section and this element inside this section. If you want to know everything about naming custom classes, staying organized, using our component system, we'll be going into more detail about that. And really, the meat of that is inside the mindset. Next, we'll be going over our most important global systems, structure, typography, and spacing. If you have not yet watched the intro video on the intro page, please go and watch that before you continue with the classes page. The intro video gives you a really good overview of the entire system, how we break up globals and how we break up customs. And that's going to get you set up for this classes page. <laughs> 